Hello viewers, today for the initial checkout we have a General Electric no power, no problem, 2.4 gigahertz corded cordless combination with Digitan answering system and speaker phone. This is a 2.4 gigahertz over 900 megahertz analog telephone and I have a particular nostalgia to these because my grandparents purchased a set of this telephone back when it was new so this is going back to the early to mid 2000s I've purchased a few of these over the years and I have not been able to find one that actually works properly I'm hoping this one will but I think chances are slim because no in the box technology doesn't seem to be very successful especially with uh, with these General Electric things which kind of stunk to begin with the one that my grandparents had was never right from day one it had an odd issue with the cordless phone where it would like hiss while it was charging the, it, the sound would come out of the handset, the cordless handset earpiece, it would be like whenever it was on the charger and then something like the battery didn't hold or whatever as well so it just it had all sorts of issues and so consequently it wasn't used by my grandparents for uh, a couple of days maybe I think my grandmother wanted it because she wanted to have the, the corded phone in the bedroom and then the cordless phone downstairs so that she could page my grandfather because uh, he spends a lot of time downstairs and she spends a lot of time in the bedroom but it didn't work out because the thing was a piece of junk and I don't know why it didn't why they didn't like take it back to the store because it never worked right from day one but anyway so the the cordless wasn't used much but then the corded phone was used in the bedroom for actually for several years it seemed to work properly and the answer machine was used for several years as well and then I finally convinced them in the late 2000s that it was time to do something better and that's when they got the unit 2080 set and then uh, I got this one and I used it actually for a while because I didn't have a lot of phones at the time so I kind of I made it work I think I had um, I think I replaced the battery in the handset with like a, a higher capacity one like a 1800 milliamp probably come with a 600 something so it, it could go for like a couple of weeks out needed to be charged up I think I used it that way for a while but even then it still wasn't quite right because it it didn't ring or something but it worked good I liked it like it talked really good it had a good reception outside and and the uh, cordless hands had a lot of side tone and I, I liked using it but it just wasn't reliable so hopefully this one works but like I said I don't I don't have high hopes because the um, stuff when it sits in the box for extended periods of time it just doesn't seem to to fare well you know the capacitors dry out and, and whatnot so I don't really expect this to work but we won't know until we try so well, let's give it a shot and hopefully hopefully it'll work so I don't think that this has ever been out of the box before everything certainly looks like it's all wrapped up and new Everything is in plastic film. 
Yeah, this definitely has never been used. The um, thing is still over the, the film. It's still over the caller ID screen. There's the cord. Inset cord. Belt click. Cordless handset, base power adapter, and the charging cradle adapter, which is not detachable. Some other piece of paper here that looks like stuff. I guess we should start with the base. Let's plug this in and see if it even wants to work, because if it doesn't work, then there's no point in going through the rest of all this. I still have that original one somewhere, but something got flaky with it, and I think it eventually just broke, like, beyond what I could do anything with. And it looks like it doesn't work. <laughs> well, I can't say I'm particularly surprised. It looks like the the screen is might actually have some dead pixels or something. I would just deal with it, but it it's not even responsive. Oh, there it goes. Press memo key to receive setup instructions. Okay, now it's working. So this is what I was talking about with the with the the capacitors not being good. After a while, you know, I might have just take a couple of charge ups to uh, start working properly. So if I can get this to work, I'm gonna install it immediately and never unplug it. I think. Well, since it seems like it's gonna work now, we'll, we'll proceed. This has a uh, nickel cadmium battery, which is uh, made in China. Shut up! It's made in China. And uh, that's about all it says. That's the Sanic battery. 600 milliamps. And it's junk. It's 0546. I don't know if that means like the 46th week of 2005. 2005 would, would be the right timeline. We'll just cancel that out because it's junk. And I will connect. Uh, well, this is totally the wrong battery. How about this mayonnaise battery? Let's see if I can get this to work. The only thing I want to grab off this is the polarity. Looks like the red is on the left. A 
low battery. Let's see if I can fetch one that's charged up. I might not have any that are charged up. Okay, this one looks like it's ready to work. I gotta go through and charge up all these batteries because it's been so long since I've done phone videos that a lot of these batteries are not charged up anymore. Okay, so let's get this phone line plugged in here. like it's working that's a relief okay so I think now we have a hopefully operational set of telephones that should be the working I hope let's see if the cordless is going to the work Doesn't sound too good. This is not working properly. Something's jacked up with this cordless. It's almost like it's got interference, but I don't know what it would be from. Yep, 
M&T Bank thanks you for your call. Good evening. Today is Sunday, March 19th. 746. Current temperature 39 degrees. Mostly clear through Monday. High today around 40 with a west wind gusting to 30. Low tonight 28. Monday's high 48. The weather phone is another community service of M&T Bank. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. I just walked upstairs now, and uh, it doesn't seem like the signal is changing at all. I'm hearing some stat some regular static on the on the phone. It seems like it's getting a little better with time. The six key in particular does not work very well, but all the other keys work fine. That's kind of weird. Yeah, it's not as bad now. Our winery open for its regular spring schedule of every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That doesn't really make any sense. It's still not correct, but it doesn't seem quite as bad. Well, I'm going to let this sit for a while. In fact, maybe what I'll do is I'll charge up this mayonnaise battery. And let's see if uh, I'll let it sit for an hour or two. And let's see if when I come back, if it's working any better. I, I don't know. I think that this may be, this may be no good, which was kind of what I expected. But we'll see. Okay, it's been a few hours. Now let's go ahead and test it again and see what transpires. Nope, it's just as bad. So that's it. Um, this is a bust. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what the problem is. I guess it's got to be something it sounds like something on the handset's transmitting end because that static that you were hearing there that's on the 900 megahertz side, 900 megahertz static so, very unfortunate but I can't say I'm very surprised these phones are pretty flaky to begin with and having been unused for all this time will just contribute to the flakiness Oh well, this does not work. I had to find another one, but most likely it will not work either. So I know I had one more of these floating around somewhere that was not new in the box, so try and look for that one, see if I can find it and maybe that one will work, but I definitely have my doubts. It's too bad because like I said it talks really nicely, but it's not reliable. What good is it?